What's going on? It's your boy Nick Moldes 05 Mo Fam. We are in here for another amazing video, and today's video is Vita to HOS for the Nintendo Switch. Now, Vita to HOS is a PlayStation Vita to Horizon OS transition layer that will allow you to run PlayStation Vita executables natively on the Nintendo Switch ARM 8 CPU in 32-bit execution mode. In this video, we will go over the entire process of loading PlayStation Vita executables on the Nintendo Switch. Before we go any further, let's first thank whom made this possible. We thank you so much for your contributions to the Nintendo Switch homebrew community, and I will make sure to list your information in the description of this video to your GitHub for current projects and future projects to come. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about how you are going to use Vita to HOS on your Nintendo Switch. So the first thing you can do is click on the Vita to HOS download link in my description and it will download a Vita to HOS dot NSP file. Next, in my description, you will see three sample PlayStation Vita executables that you can use. For this video, I will be using Vita 8. Now that I have clicked on that download link, you will see the Vita 8 dot zip file on screen now. I want you to go ahead and open that zip file and in there you should see a .velf file that we need. I would like for you to take this file and place it on your desktop. Now let's rename that file to test.elf. Now click on the download link in my description for override underscore config dot ini file. You can create this manually, but I already have it created for you. Just follow the prompts and it will download for you. Now for a little extra fun, let's click on the download link for the pack of chip eight ROMs that we can play courtesy of Zophers Domain. Thank you so much for that. But once it's finished downloading, it will show a C8 games.zip file. Next on your desktop, create a folder called chip Eight games. Now let's open that c8games.zip file and place all the contents inside of there in the chip eight games folder that we have created on the desktop. At this point, I want you to grab your micro SD card out of your Nintendo Switch, connect it to your PC, and now you should have the root of the micro SD card on one side and the files that we have prepared on the other. First, let's grab the Vita2HOS.NSP and place that in the Atmosphere folder as shown on screen. Next, let's take our override underscore config.ini file and place that in the location that you see on screen. Now, major warning here, guys. Okay, I have to mention this. Once you have this file here, HB menu will no longer work. I repeat, it will no longer work until you delete this file or rename it. So don't be alarmed if after you finish, you try to go back to your album and you get an error because HB menu does not work. Remember to rename or delete this file to get back HB menu. Next, take the test.l file and place that on the root of the micro SD card. Now grab our chip eight games folder and also place that on the root of the micro SD card. With all of that out of the way, let's remove our micro SD card from the PC, connect it to our Nintendo Switch and load up your custom firmware. For this video, I will be using the latest version of Atmosphere. Now let's select a title while holding down the R button and bam, voila, there we go. Now I am sure there's much more you can do with this, but I am not familiar with it that much as I have not used a PlayStation Vita for modding. I uh, had a PSP very big on that, but not the PlayStation Vita, but Anything you guys find out or any cool features, please put in the comments and let us know and help out MoFam. Other than that, it's your boy, Nick Moses 05. MoFam, we are out.